Hi, I'm Chili, and today I'm representing HD Map Night, an online HD Map construction and evaluation framework. HD Map construction is an essential module for modern autonomous driving. It enables autonomous vehicles to localize them precisely, make instant decision, and predict objects' motion. However, Classical pipelines of annotating and maintaining HD maps involves a complex pipeline and is costly and labor intensive. Moreover, road conditions are ever changing. To enable long term use, HD maps demand constant updates and maintenance. As an alternative approach, we propose HD MapNet. Uh, HD map learning framework using modern deep learning approach with onboard sensor and computation. In contrast to traditional map learning pipelines, our framework is simple, cheap, and is able to perceive dynamic environments. We propose a neural network that takes as input n images along with their extrinsics, or laid out white clouds, or both of them and output a vectorized bird's-eye view HD map as shown in the bottom. We test our method on new synth data set. Here is a video demo for our HD map confusion. We show six input images on the left and the vectorized HD map predicted by our method on the right. The right lines indicate the land boundary, the white ones indicate land divider, and the yellow ones indicate the path crossing. We also align later point clouds for visualization purpose. As we can see, our prediction is relatively robust and temporal consistent. HD MapNet surrounding consists of four parts to process surrounding images into bird's eye view HD map, namely camera view encoder, view transformation module, view projection module, and bird's eye view, deco view decoder. We use pre-trained efficient net B0 as camera view encoder to operate on each of the camera images individually, which then sample the images by a factor of 16. For view transformation module, we use fully connected layers to do view transformation implicitly by jointly estimating the ground height. Then we use camera extrinsics to transfer ca camera features from camera coordinates to eagle frame coordinates by differentiable sampling. Finally, for birth view decoder, we use ResNet 18 backbone to output three branches, namely semantic segmentation instance embedding and direction clarification, which will be used for vectorization. HD MapNet can also handle LiDAR input. We firstly virtualize point cloud and then use a shared point knife to extract semantic feature and finally use bird's view decoder on it, as we have done for surrounding images. Note that if your vehicle is equipped with multiple sensors, like cameras and lasers, to combine them is very simple. Remember that we output three branches from bird's eye view decoder. For vectorization, we firstly use DB scan clustering algorithm on instance embedding to get instance masks. And then we apply the maximum suppression on instance masks to reduce redundancy and connect them by predict direction to get a vectorized HD map. Note so that although we only handle three classes of map elements in this paper, the extension to others is the same. To evaluate the performance of semantic level segmentation, we adopt intersection over union to measure pixel level accuracy. However, Intersection over union doesn't work if the ground truth has no overlap with the prediction. Hence, we also use chamber distance to measure the curvatures of the connected points. 
to evaluate the instance level performance, we use average precision as similar to object detection. In this paper, we use chamfer distance as a threshold instead of intersectional reunion because most of the map elements are lines. We compare our methods against inverse perspective mapping, leave splat shoot, and view proxy network. From the results, we can see that HD MATNAT fusion achieves state of the art results on all map elements, and for camera only methods, our HD map surrounding is also the best. One thing worth note is that for divider and pad crossing, surrounding cameras outperform LIDAR. Well, for LIDAR boundary, LIDAR works better. Land boundary, well, for land boundary, LIDAR works better. We hypothesize that this is because there are elevation changes near the land boundary, making it easy to detect in LIDAR point clouds. Well, on the other hand, the color contrast of road divider and pad crossing is helpful information to recognize in images. We will release our code soon, and you should feel free to reach us. We'll email if you have any questions or comments. Thank you.